Okay, let's go to talk about the Alex Math Placement Exam. And because you're watching this video, I assume you are preparing to take the Alex Math Placement Exam. And you definitely want to do as uh, well as you possibly can because there is a lot writing on your score here, right? Uh, let's suppose you took a lot of math in high school. Then, you know, that should be reflected on how well you do on the Alex because you don't want to place into a math course that is kind of like review for the stuff you already learned, maybe like in high school, right? Because if you place into uh, a lower level math course uh, for you and the skills that you have and all the kind of education, previous education that you have, then that's going to be a major waste of time and money. Okay, and you need to review to do well on the Alex. The Alex span, uh, covers a lot of material from high school level mathematics. So that would be algebra, geometry, algebra two, trigonometry. It's a lot of stuff. So even though you took uh, all those courses in high school, for example, you still want to brush up and you know just kind of treat this as uh, uh, like a huge final exam. Now, uh, what I have for you here is a practice problem that you should be able to handle pretty easily if you are fully prepared for the Alex Math Placement Exam. So the objective here is to solve the variables A and B. And you can pause the video and work on this. I'm going to go ahead and show you that correct answer here in just one second. Then I'm going to walk through the steps and solve this uh, problem. Okay. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I have been teaching math for decades. And over those years, I've constructed a lot of different online math uh, courses a lot of test prep courses to include an Alex Math test prep course. Uh, this course is one of my most popular courses. A lot of people take the Alex exam. Matter of fact, I believe the Alex uh, Math Placement exam is the number one uh, exam used by colleges and universities. There are other placement exams, but by far the Alex is the most popular. Uh, hence, that's why it's one of my most popular courses. And um, I believe at this time it is 25 chapters full of uh, high school level math from algebra, geometry to uh, advanced tough trigonometry. So you can check it out by following the link in the description below. But whether you use my course or something else, you don't want to go into the Alex exam without uh, doing a lot of study. Okay, You just don't want to say to yourself, no, I took all those courses in high school. I remember everything on exam day. Uh, trust me, you will not, okay, because there is just so much information that was taught, you know, in high school, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, Trigonometry, a lot of material. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this problem here. So what are we talking about? Well, we have two variables, right, uh, and uh, these are what we call linear equations. Now, the, the way they're written doesn't maybe seem so uh, obvious, but what we're dealing with here is a system, okay, a linear system. Uh, to be more precise, a two-variable linear system. So you want to be um, thinking about the substitution method or the linear combination el uh, elimination method to solve this system. Now, if that wasn't clear, um, you know, when you first looked at this, you're like, oh, okay, I see what's going on. Well, then pause the video and see if you could solve this. But let me go ahead and show you the correct answer, and then we're going to go ahead and solve this step by step. Okay, so the correct answer here is A is equal to 3 and B is equal to 5. All right, now if you got this uh, correct, that is excellent. Okay, now if you didn't get this correct, just use this as feedback, you know, to uh, go back and study. And if you did get this correct, you know, that's just, you know, a small indication that you know, you know, uh, about systems, right? Two variable systems, uh, but by no means is this like a complete, you know, uh, you know, checklist of everything you need to know. There's so much more that will be on the Alex exam. But let's go ahead and get into this problem now. So the first thing we want to do is we want to um, kind of clean up these respective equations. So the way they're written uh, right now is not, you know, in a kind of friendly manner. So what we want to do is to put all the variables on one side of the equation. So we're dealing with the variables A and B. So we want our A's and B's over here for both equations and one number on the right-hand side. Okay, so this is, uh, you know, kind of writing 
these respective linear equations in standard form. So let's go ahead and clean up uh, each of these respective equations. We'll start with the first here. And uh, once we have everything kind of uh, written, both equations written in standard form, it'll be easier to see what we need to do. Okay, so right here, what I have is a negative three outside these parentheses. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the distributive property. So that's negative three times B, that gives me negative three B here. Negative three times this negative three A is a positive three A is equal to 14 minus four uh, B. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna use a different color, is uh, get this B term on the other side of the equation. So I'm going to simply just add four B to both sides of the equation. And you can see that's gonna give me B, okay, or one positive one B plus three A is equal to 14. Okay, so this is our first equation kind of cleaned up here. Now let's go ahead and work on that second equation. All right, so our second equation is 2a plus 26 is equal to 4 uh, times a plus b. So we're going to take this 4 and multiply it uh, by this a and b there. So again, we have to apply the distributive property. So that'll be 4a plus 4b. So 2a plus 26 is equal to 4a plus 4b. Now here, instead of moving all the a and b terms uh, on this side of the equation, what you could do is simply just move this a term, this 2a, over here. And that's exactly what I'm going to do because it's just going to kind of save us some work. So I'm going to subtract 2a like so. And this gives us uh, 26. Well, of course, the 2a's here go away. So it gives me 26 is equal to 4a minus 2a is 2a plus 4b. And uh, when you're looking at an equation, the left is equal to the right or the right is equal to the left. So I can just simply write this uh, 2a plus 4b on this side and the 26 on this side. Uh, they are mathematically equivalent. Okay, so now we kind of cleaned up both equations. So that gives us this uh, equation right here. Let me kind of grab this, pull it up. And so this is a more user-friendly way to look at this system. So that would be step one. Now what we have to do is decide how we're going to solve this system. But we're uh, still got a little bit of work here to do. If you notice, when you have uh, systems, you want to have the variables lined up correctly. Here we have B and A, A and B. So we want to um, kind of shuffle this first equation around. So we have all our A's here, all our B's there. That's a pretty simple fix. So here, all I'm going to do is put the uh, um, this 3A. Okay, well actually, I oh, actually, it looks like I did this on the second equation. I'm gonna put my 4B here and my 2A. Either way, as long as you have your Bs and As or As and Bs, uh, it doesn't make a difference. The problem will work out. Okay, so at this uh, point, we need to decide our system is all kind of cleaned up. It took a little bit of work here. Uh, now we have our two variables. We have uh, B and A, B and A right here, one number there. And we need to decide what method are we going to use, right? So, you know, you're kind of thinking to yourself, you have two primary uh, algebraic methods. The first is the substitution method, and uh, next is the elimination or a linear combination method, okay? Now you could take either approach here. I'm gonna go ahead and use the elimination method, but if you chose the substitution method, that's perfectly fine. You definitely need to know both for the Alex exam. So what I'm going to do is create two opposite terms here. So I have B and 4B. I'm gonna turn this top term right here into a negative 4B, and I'm gonna do that by multiplying this top equation by negative four. Okay, so that's gonna be negative four times this B is gonna be what? Well, negative four times that B is gonna be negative four B. Negative four times this three A will be a negative 12 A, and negative four times this 14 will be negative 56. And here is our original uh, second equation. So that's four A plus two, uh, four, excuse me, four B plus two A is equal to 26. If I misspoke, please forgive me. I know I'm kind of uh, reading a lot of steps out loud. Okay, so now finally, I have uh, two opposites here, negative 4b and positive 4b, and I can add down. Remember, when you're dealing with systems, you can combine two equations to make a new equation, but the advantage of, uh, of doing this or combining these two equations here is, is the b variable is going to be eliminated, hence the elimination method, because you want to uh, get this down to 
uh, in the equation with one variable. And if we can eliminate one variable, and of course we're going to do that here, we can solve for the remaining variable. So negative 4b plus 4b is 0. Negative 12a plus a positive 2a is negative 10a. And then we have our negative 56 plus uh, positive 26 is negative 30. And here we can solve for a. a is equal to 3. Okay, so uh, that's how we solve for one variable. How do we solve for the second variable? This is very easy. We can choose any uh, equation here. We could choose this one. We could choose our original equation. Uh, it's a little bit more uh, clear up here. And we know what a is equal to, so we could just pick one of these equations and plug in a and solve for b. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'll use this equation here, b plus 3a is equal to 14. Again, we know now, we now know, excuse me, that a is equal to 3, so I'll plug in uh, 3 for a, so I have b plus 3 times 3. Okay, a is now 3, so 3 times 3 is 9. So b plus 9 is 14, I'm subtract 9 for both sides of the equation. I get b is equal to 5. Okay, now a lot of different steps, uh, and you could have taken different steps to solve this system. You could have used the substitution method, uh, but here's the bottom line. You definitely need to be able to solve systems, uh, you know, linear systems, two variable linear systems. This is a basic algebra one concept, all right? And on the Alex, you're gonna be testing on al um, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, you know, trigonometry, more advanced math. So if this is difficult for you, uh, what you need to do is use it as feedback, okay? Don't give up. Use the time you have to study as effectively as you can. And the only way you're going to get better at math is basically two ways, right? The first is you need great instruction from, like, a math teacher, okay? Don't try to learn this stuff by just a textbook. You need some someone to kind of teach you this. So that's uh, step one. The second thing is you need to practice. you got to do a ton of practice problems because this is the... Uh, way you're only truly going to kind of retain and build your skills. But before you start doing practice problems, you might uh, you want to kind of make sure you have the instruction so you understand what's going on and then do the practice. But, you know, use all the time um, that you have, whatever time that might be, to, you know, study as much as you can because it's going to pay off if you can do, you know, um, you know, really well on the Alex exam. Okay, so again, I'm going to leave the link uh, to my Alex Math uh, Placement Test Prep course in the description. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.